plantation where his family had been slaves. That stuff really isn't like in the ancient past. It was just yesterday, you know, because what happened was after slavery ended, you still had Jim Crow. And Jim Crow really was like a de facto slavery to a lot of, for a lot of these people. So they're still connected to that history. They're still being lynched in his lifetime and all that type of stuff like that, you know? So uh, we still have a lot of crazy stuff from that era that kind of gets turned in against each other and families. So it can be very hard to kind of think about other people's culture and put other people's culture forward. And even though we put on a smiling face, we're really dealing with a lot of trauma. We can talk about sharing African history, but when you're black, sometimes you understand better the issue of oppression. Sometimes when people are mixed, they don't understand oppression in the same way because they don't deal with it the same. Uh, what I found for me was very astonishing is that we black Cubans we know nothing about American blackness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All what we know is the political stains, stains and what happened when we come to the exile because what we see is the mm -hmm. support that black organizations bring to Cuban government, we are excluded. Mm, 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 Do you okay. understand? So I, t I, t I told to myself, okay, there is more some things that, that, than, than this political stuff. Because that political stuff is a white stuff. It's a really white stuff. Even, the, uh, even in America, when you see the support of the black, is white people are not black, so they don't understand us. Even 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 the black politicians. Now, yeah, now some well, of them some of them do have roots in the community, but like what happens is they get money and then they're gone and then they're gone for ten years, twenty years, thirty years. They just in these other environments and they're completely disconnected and out of touch. And so they don't really represent us. So yeah. when people will see like the rappers or they'll see politicians and they'll be like, oh, this is a representation of, of the black community. Or, or they go and they see people, and in, in general, people in a population can be ignorant. They don't know, they know themselves, but they don't know about the world, right? So if you're not coming into contact with certain populations inside communities, it, it's very easy to get like, a negative impression because you're not you're not talking to the right people you know so the right people have to communicate when I see like Santeria okay or Lukumi or you know um, I I see some of the African culture I see the Yoruba culture you can see it's very strong yeah. but when the face of it is is either like kind of the I don't know we call mulatto or Creole, you know, or kind of, you know, white looking people. I'm not mad at them. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's good that they they feel that. But I saw a video of like um, like some Abaqua people in Cuba, just all black. Now for me, the feeling was entirely different. So I started meeting black people in Cuba, and it changed my whole perspective. From Cuba, it changed my whole perspective because I was like, oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, okay, we're over there.